Hello everyone and welcome back to another beekeeping video. It's four degrees and pretty chilly today, so we won't be opening the hives up and there aren't many bees around. We're going to have to pretend. Buzz. Buzz. But today is a special video because did you know that as well as being the patron saint of lovers, St. Valentine is the patron saint of beekeeping. So the exact identity of St. Valentine is a little bit confused. It seems like multiple people have kind of merged. But we do know that there was a bishop known as Valentine and also a priest. And they were both martyred in the third century for defending Christians. Although the priest was actually arrested, beaten to death, and then decapitated. So that's not exactly the romantic story you might have been expecting. Thing is, this idea of love and romance on Valentine's Day might not actually come from the departed saint at all. So some people say that in an effort to get rid of the Roman feast of Lupercalia on the 15th of February, and this was a wild night of revelry, music, dancing, and love lotteries, the early church went in search of a more innocent saint to kind of make a more demure celebration of love. And they found this guy called Valentine who happened to be martyred on the 14th of February and thought, you know what, he'll do. However, legend says that Valentine was actually an emperor-defying prisoner who, despite being imprisoned, gave the emperor back his sight and then fell in love with his daughter. And in a love letter to his daughter simply wrote, yours Valentine. So maybe this was the first Valentine's Day card. Other legends say that he actually gave his sweetheart a crocus flower which like the snowdrop is one of the first flowers of spring and a first forage for the honeybees. So really it's this idea of February marking the arrival of spring which is at the root of absolutely everything. The birds are mating, the flowers are beginning to bloom and the honeybees are beginning to forage when it's not four degrees and as the patron saint of beekeeping Valentine is said to ensure the sweetness of honey and the protection of beekeepers. There you go. So finding the link between love and honey is much, much easier. The very word honeymoon stems from the hope of a sweet marriage, but apparently in ancient custom, newlyweds would drink mead, which is a drink made from honey, until the first moon of their new union, and this was said to ensure a high sperm count. Hippocrates was said to prescribe honey for sexual vigour, um, and Cupid's arrow was either dipped in ambrosial honey or acidic sting, and it's an old French wives' tale that actually a bee sting is meant to be the purest form of aphrodisiac. So I don't know about bee stings, they just hurt. We're definitely not at risk of bee stings today because there, there is no activity in the hive. Saint Valentine isn't actually the only patron saint of beekeeping. In Bulgaria, the patron saint of beekeeping is called Saint Karlampi. Apologies to all Bulgarians if I'm saying that wrong. And he is celebrated on with a national holiday in Bulgaria and the ladies bake pies in the shape of hives and then the lands are blessed to protect them against pestilence and plague and that actually brings us back to St. Valentine. St. Valentine's is actually a pretty busy saint. Not only is he the patron saint of lovers and beekeeping but also of epilepsy and plague. So romantic. Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here are links to my previous two beekeeping videos. Subscribe, stay curious, and I'll see you soon. Bye.